this is a Windows Phone 7 game review of Asphalt 5, which is available in the marketplace for $2.99 and is an Xbox Live game title. So overall, I'd recommend you definitely try this game before you spend any money on it because it has some problems, like it doesn't even support Mango multitasking. And that'd be okay if at least it still just loaded into the race where you were, but watch what happens here. When you multitask away from it and then return, it'll actually restart the entire race. So you lose any progress if you respond to a text message or do anything. So that's really terrible in this day and age of Mango and pretty sad. But the game does even have motorcycles here, which is kind of cool. And it heavily uses a boost system and you can actually even take out enemies if you ram them hard enough against the wall. And so the controls, they're okay, they work pretty well, especially once you get used to them, they work okay. And you do have a brake, but the brake on the car is pretty useless because it'll initiate a drift, even though sometimes, especially when you're playing as a cop and you have to catch other people, you want to slow down just in a straight line. So motorcycles can actually crash and have to restart there, but cars, if they crash into another car, nothing happens. They're just apparently invincible. And so the game does have shortcuts here, but they're not really shortcuts because they're all listed right on the map, so it's not like really you're discovering a shortcut. They're just there. And another odd thing is the opponents can't even use them, so they give you really unfair advantage and doesn't make the game that exciting to play. So typically the races are really easy and you explore it and you can be rubbing up against walls and it doesn't really even affect what you're doing and you just keep on using your boost and there's very little skill in this game so if you're looking for a challenging racing game this is definitely not it if you're really bored and just want something silly and something quick then this could be it and also the frame rate on the game isn't that great it's not perfectly smooth but it is better on the Samsung Focus here because it's or the Samsung Focus S because it's a newer device with 1.4 GHz processor versus just one on the HTC radar so it does perform smoother so if you have a higher end device then you could possibly consider this game too so this is just the trial and it shows you the first level and there are a bunch of different levels some you actually play as a cop and you chase down other people and you have to ram them into the wall in order to eliminate them there's some where they're just time trials some where it's just races against other people survival mode where you actually have to um, make sure you're not the last one finishing a lap because the last one is eliminated and a number of other stuff like that and you lock, unlock a bunch of cars in the game and even motorcycles later on but I'll show you the braking here like if you're just turning at all it starts to slide the car unrealistically as if these cars don't have ABS at all and then another problem with that drifting is you go into the corner you try to start drifting and then you hit the boost and it just randomly stops drifting. It's not like Burnout at all. Burnout has beautiful drift system where it makes it feel like drifting is really easy, but it's really fun at play. This isn't. And if I can get to the corner here, I'll try to show you. So, here I'll slide in there. Hmm. Well, this car isn't responding like normal. But, as you can see on our HTC radar, if I open the game back up, it's going to restart to the very beginning of the race. So, let's watch that happen. So, already it takes forever to load the game there. And then it doesn't even resume your actual game, and you have to restart the entire match. So, that's pretty much a joke. See, so it's right back at the beginning. So, that's pretty useless, and really brings down the presentation, which already isn't that great because this game is two years old and other platforms have Asphalt 5 whereas this is only Asphalt or other platforms have Asphalt 7 so we always get the short end of the stick here at Windows Phone typically so another pretty unfair thing but you do get a bunch of credits when you complete races and then using those credits you can buy some of the cars I could show you those in there. And that's a little screenshot of the cop race. So cops actually do follow you sometimes in races. 
and you have to avoid them while racing other people. So, gameplay does have good variety, but it only lasts about probably two hours, I'd say. So, it's nothing really long lasting. You could always go back and replay levels, but it definitely could use some more levels in general. Nevertheless, Asphalt 5 is an okay title if you have one of the newer devices or you don't mind a choppier frame rate. You can find it in the marketplace for $2.99.